If you want to be a bookkeeper and you haven't heard of the free QuickBooks Pro Advisor certification, you are in the right place. If you already know what I'm talking about, definitely go down to the comments and let us know your experience of the test and maybe answer some questions for people who are new to it. This certification is totally free and in my opinion, it's an industry standard for bookkeepers. So you really don't have that much to lose and it gives you a lot of credibility when you're looking to find clients. The last time I made a video on this was three years ago, so things have changed a little bit in QuickBooks since then. Most of this video will be a screen record where I go into QuickBooks and I show you exactly how to find this test and this training. But really quick, just a few reasons on why you should take this. Like I said, it's an industry standard. When you complete the certification, you get a badge and you can add that badge to your website, to your social media, and it tells your clients that you are certified in the program QuickBooks Online. You might have heard me mention that bookkeeping is not a regulated field where you need a specific degree or a specific certification. So this certification is a really good place to start. It doesn't take too long. And then if you decide that you want more bookkeeper training after that, you can choose from a variety of different places to get that. And I have a chart that compares and contrasts like I think 10 or 12 different bookkeeper trainings. So that will be linked in my description box along with the fact that I will highlight what my favorite training is and give you links if you're interested. I'll go into this very specifically in the video like exactly how many questions are in each section of the test. But if you just want the overview, there are a bunch of study modules. I think those are gonna take you, I don't have the notes in front of me, but I think that's about 16 hours or so depending on of course how fast or slow you go. And then the exam takes about two hours. So if you're dedicated, you can do this whole process in about a week. Some people take a month. You could probably do it in a weekend if you were really fast and you get three different chances to take the test and you have to have an 80% or higher and you can take one section at a time, which is very helpful. And side note, if you want to do this even faster than like the typical time, my friend Margie has a class. I will leave it linked in the description box below. I think I have a coupon code for it too, actually. And she creates these really amazing study guides that boil down all the training just into the very most pertinent information. And then she usually puts it in order of how the test is arranged. So that is a paid class, but she says that you can do all the training in only five hours instead of that 16 hours. And then she also has a money back guarantee. If you're not able to pass, you get the money back for that class. So again, not much to lose there. And her class is honestly pretty affordable. And every year QuickBooks updates their tests a little bit. And so I believe November is going to be the new test. So I tried to time this video coming out with about when the test is going to be refreshed. All right, and then I have three frequently asked questions about this certification. Certification. First of all, who can take it? This certification is not available in every single country in the world. Last time I checked, there were five to maybe 10 countries where it's available. It's definitely in the US, in Canada, in the UK, I believe Australia. So if you're having trouble finding it, that might be the trouble. Just Google if the QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor training is available in your country. Number two question I get all the time, if you can't find it, make sure you're using QuickBooks Online Accountant version. So there is a normal version of QuickBooks, but you want to have the accountant version. And so within the accountant version, this is free for you as a bookkeeper. You can do your own books in there. And then inside you have visibility to all your clients. So if you have 10 clients, you just log into your accountant version and then you can see all your 10 clients in there. And there is a cost associated for each of those 10 clients. And I have a video about who pays for QuickBooks. Either you can pay or your clients can pay. So look at that video if that is one of your questions. And the other question I always get, I'm going to show a screenshot of, but when it asks for your firm name, don't worry too much about that. If you don't have one, write anything in there. You can always change it later. All right, let's jump into my computer screen. Make sure to leave me any questions or comments in the comments down below. And I never mentioned I'm Morgan. My website is finepoints.biz. I have a ton of free resources for bookkeepers. I have a checklist about starting your book keeping business. I have a masterclass about how I got my first three clients. So I'm pretty sure all that stuff is linked in the description box or just leave me a comment if you want a link to any of that stuff. All right. So the first thing you need to make sure to do is find QuickBooks online accountant. So you definitely need the accountant version to make this whole thing work. So that's sponsored. And then let's go to this online accountant. And even if you call yourself a bookkeeper, you still want this version. So it explains it a little bit here, but basically I think if you just go up into this corner and then create an account for QuickBooks Online Accountant, that is gonna be the easiest. 
So then it's going to walk you through this process. It will have you put in your email address, your phone number, probably a password, all the normal things you would do to create an account. And then the only thing that I want to tell you, at some point it is going to have you enter your firm's name. So it says enter your firm's info and it wants you to have an accounting firm name. A lot of people are like, what do I do? I don't have an accounting firm. I'm a bookkeeper. I don't have a business started. You can put whatever you want in here and then you can always change it later. I do recommend as a bookkeeper that you create a business that you make an LLC, that you make a business name, all that stuff. But if you haven't done that yet, just put whatever you want in there. And then you can continue filling this out. And then we will jump to the screen where after you're registered, what it looks like. All right, so once you have successfully logged in here, if you had any bookkeeping clients, they would all be listed here. So if you had five or 10 clients, you would be able to see each of them on this dashboard screen. And then, you know, there would be a probably a charge for each client, depending on how you're billing them. So just so you know, that's how that works. And then let's figure out first where the test is, if you want to take the pro advisor test. So go to the pro advisor tab. And then if you go to benefits, it talks about all um, these different reasons why you might want to be a pro advisor. And I also have a video that talks about that if you want to search for that on my channel. But let's go to training because this is what you guys are really trying to get to today. First, I'm going to tell you how to find the test because there's a lot going on here and they change how the training works a little bit. But if you go to certification hub, and number three here is take exam. So it looks like I already started this exam. This is not my true QuickBooks account, but if you go to take exam here and one, first of all, let's look at the sections. So there are five sections and then it tells you how many questions are in each section and about how long it will take. So it has 10 is the least amount of questions and it looks like 16 is the most. And so this section three, they say will take you about 25 minutes and the longest one is 40 minutes long. So you can start any of these sections. There's not a time limit other than your screen might time out if you're inactive. And then you can finish all of section one and it'll save it. And if you want to come back the next day and do section two, that is fine. You don't have to complete all of these five sections in one sitting, but you do have to make sure you complete section one, submit it. You cannot come back to section one on the next day because it won't save what you have done. If you don't submit it though, and you want to start over, that's fine. And all of that is described in this, how it works section right here. So what I just talked about was saving your progress. So once you start a section, you won't be able to walk away from it without handing it in or you'll lose your progress. All right, and then once you finish all of the five sections, you need an 80% or higher on each section to pass the exam. If you don't pass one of the sections, then your next try only has the sections that you didn't pass. So that is kind of nice. They're not making you retake all five sections. If you just missed two sections, then just retake those. And then you have three tries to pass this exam. This scares a lot of people, but you guys can do it. And I have the resource of Margie's class too, that I will talk about in this video. She helps you pass this exam. So you have that three tries to pass it. And if you don't do it on the third attempt, you need to wait 60 days. So still not the worst punishment in the world, but they just want to make sure that you're not just you know, trying to take it a million times. All right, let's move on to talk about training. So how do you study for this exam if you're a new bookkeeper? So they have changed this, like I said. So right now they have what they call the personalized path. And this asks you questions about what you want to learn. So let's try, I think this will be starting it over. What do you want to learn about? QuickBooks Online, payments, payroll, time, or bookkeeping principles. This one you might want to learn about if you're new to bookkeeping as well. But I just said QuickBooks Online. And where would you like to start? So I just want some basics or I'd like to take the certification pathway. This is most likely what you want if you are watching this video or if you're just, you know, kind of want to learn certain topics, you want to brush up on something, you can choose the topics you want to learn about. So now QuickBooks thinks I am on the certification path. Um, you can see it has these different modules. So going back to this certification hub, it wants you to start with the test prep or the certification prep. And this is three modules that talk about how to be certified in QuickBooks. So kind of like what this video is about, honestly, and then topics on the exam. And then this is like a little bit of a sample test. This is going to take you an hour to do. And then I believe that 
based on how you do on this, they are going to customize your training. That is just a guess. I have not taken this hour long test yet. I might do that and let you guys know how it goes. So this is kind of like a practice test. Then we can look in the training library and this has a whole bunch of information. So we have QuickBooks Online and then those other things that they were also trying to teach you about, I would just focus on QuickBooks Online to start out. So you can kind of get an idea of what types of things they're teaching you. So for example, this getting started module, it takes two hours and 15 minutes. This one takes five hours. This one is gonna be more in depth. And all of these you can click into. It's really nice because it tells you how much time it takes approximately. And then it has like a mixture of things you read and then little tests at the end. It'll have these videos like this. And so even though this might not be like the most riveting information in the entire world, you know, they do try to make it easy to understand, visual, that kind of thing.